Wow. Joining me, Brian Kilmeade, co-host of Fox and Friends, host of One Nation with Brian Kilmeade and the Brian Kilmeade Radio Show, author of The President and the Freedom Fighter, and very cool, host of a new documentary on Fox Nation. It's called Who is Ron DeSantis? Available for streaming right now. And Brian, my love, we will get to that in just one second. Great to see you I want again. To hear. Great to see you. Yes. Thank you for doing this. Uh, happy Thursday. Uh, before we get to um, Governor DeSantis, which is a very important topic, I just want to review the bidding a little bit. Um, this tragedy in, uh, in Palestine, Ohio, which is really kind of right next to Pennsylvania also. So nobody from the administration went there until Donald Trump went there. The first, now uh, Buttigieg went there. All he did was insult uh, reporters. Uh, FEMA finally got there. But I mean, Trump stirred the pot, had a great event, gave away, God knows, thousands of bottles of water. Apparently he was buying everybody at McDonald's and so forth. First and so responders, on. yeah. <laughs> what is up with this group? Why can't they get anything right? Why can't Buttigieg get? I know Biden was off in, uh, in the Ukraine and so forth, but he's got a whole other cabinet. He's even got Kamala Harris instead of Bowie State in there. What is wrong with these people? And Joe and Joe and Donald Trump, my former boss, I think showed them up. Well, number one, this happens. It's a real, it's not just a train derailing. It's got toxic chemicals. And then they try a couple of days later, we're going to do a controlled detonation. Our best bet is to blow up, to drain the chemicals out into the ground and then blow up the train so it doesn't explode and become shrapnel and destroy a city uh, full of, uh, cra you know, uh, hot molten, uh, molten uh, metal. That's a decision I think we're going to come back to in a month or two and say, by the way, Governor DeWine, who actually told you to do that and who did you consult before you did that? They actually have to, going to have to blow this thing up? They did it. They already blew it up. Oh, I didn't uh, know yeah, that. Yeah, they blew it up. That's why when you see the mushroom cloud. Which, oh, yeah. yeah. Got it. Got so it, they do, the, it, they do the, uh, the planned detonation. They blow it up. Okay, that's what's going to plague this town for a while. Maybe experts will come in different from the ones we've heard from of late and say, oh, it was the good move. Having said that, Where's your communications team that says this is serious? You right. got to go. Where are people in there that say we're the experts? We got to get in there. Who handles toxic chemicals? Who handles the trains? Who handles, you know, who's going to handle the water? Who's going to handle the gas? Who's going to make these people uh, whole again? How, how do we get the company involved? There seemed to be no urgency. And Larry, I wouldn't give the president a pass on this. I know he had to go to Munich. I shouldn't, I mean, excuse me, to Warsaw. Don't call it off. We got it. It happened February 3rd. He could have gone before he went Absolutely. overseas. He should have been, uh, he should have gone to this What site. I fear is that he saw Trump voters. And I see our state that went by eight but to Trump mm -hmm. and saw an area that 70% voted for Trump. I think uh, Donald Trump excels at this. Mm. Instinctively knows where to go, mm. likes people. You know, people think, well, he was born, uh, uh, you know, he was born around rich people or some of his friends are the most famous people. He's just the opposite. He feels more comfortable in that crowd mm -hmm. than he does with the so-called elite crowd that you might find in New York City or the, uh, on, the back, on the pages of page six. So I think he gets sells there. Also, it's cold country. The president hates coal. I mean, so I'm not saying he dislikes these people. He thought, let's just, just go away. And what about Secretary of Transportation uh, Buttigieg? His instincts, he doesn't need the president to say, you can go now. He should go in there. He goes, well, I don't want to get in the way. My instincts are... That is not true. You have not been in front of any major issue from the supply chain. If I had that job, I would have been sitting there with a pup tent on the docks until you right. explained to me accurately how these barges get in and why they're stuck out there and what I can do. I'd rather, I'd rather fail in action than be on the sidelines and ridicule people. And he was questions. nasty. And he was nasty. Not helpful. Of course, he didn't want to be there. Yeah, he and was... they should have had a half a dozen other cabinet secretaries. Okay, HHS should have been there. Right. Energy should have been there. I'm just going to think down the list. Transportation. So he took him 20 days to get there. Uh, the commerce secretary could have been there. The vice president could have gone there Absolutely. instead of blowing smoke and giving us uh, untruths on inflation in uh, in uh, Bowie State in Maryland. You understand? I mean, Trump just whipped their butts on this whole thing. I mean, the ma thing that matters is that the people are protected ultimately. I mean, I don't know if they're going to be protected or not. You tell me. I haven't followed the story that closely. Well, I mean, the, the tests are passing. Like people wonder. And then also there's a psychom 
somatic part of it. You hear all the time, this is dangerous, this is toxic. And then all of a sudden, you can manifest things that maybe not be caused, but because you hear it all the time, I got that headache. Maybe this headache is from uh -huh. some of the chemicals. Mm -hmm. So that's going to happen. And at the very least, Larry, uh, your audience would understand this. Everybody's house right now is worth about a third of what it Less. was the day before. Right. And that is their 401k in a lot Boy, of cases. That's a great point. And I just feel so bad for these people. That's it's like, okay, I want to move out. That's a really important point. All right, thank you for that. Um, who is Ron DeSantis? We're going to play some sound. Uh, you interviewed a whole bunch of people. Uh, here comes another former governor of uh, Florida. Is this Ron DeSantis' opportunity to run for higher office? I think it is. He's been a really effective governor. He's young. I think we're on the verge of a generational change in our politics. I kind of hope so. I think it's time for a more forward-leaning, future-oriented uh, conversation in our politics as well. All right, you got low energy, Jeb. By the way, I say that just to be funny, because I happen to like Jeb Bush a lot. He's a, he's a very fine person. Um, what did you discover in your... Now, just quit, quit, DeSantis himself's not in this. That's the whole theme with the who is. Did you series. ask him to come on? No, uh, oh. but I'm going to be interviewing him March 8th uh, for his oh. book that comes out in a couple of weeks. Okay. I did spend a day with him just to see what his, a slice of his life uh, a year and a half ago. How was, uh, how was it? It? It, was, it was the middle of the pandemic, too. And I, you know, I Middle watched of the him. pandemic. Yeah, we went down there because he opened that place up right oh. away. So I had a chance to see him, cool. saw his family, three young kids. Uh, he's very, he's extremely engaged. Mm -hmm. You know, while Tom Cotton said, you know, my kids are young. I don't think I want to run for president right now. It's just, I, I, it's not right for us. Uh, his wife and he uh, and talked about it. I think he's clearly running. And I think his three kids are young, but his wife is all in. And I would say this uh, about what you find, Jeb Bush who said that I'm extremely impressed. Basically, I'm endorsing him. I think he would be a great president. Did he president. say that? I'm he basically, yeah. yeah. He basically says that this is this By is. By the way, point. I call him low energy, Jeb, just to be cute. I mean, he's but a fine person. He'd be a great cabinet secretary. He, he was a fine person. He'd be great he was a great governor. secretary. He was a superb governor. Yes, he was. Right. And uh, he's a personal friend, so I... I no, no, be... no, of course. Um, but we, I did that. But here's the other thing. And you, uh, if I really wanted to know Larry Kudlow, I'd probably talk to your tennis instructors. And uh, <laughs> we had a dude chance to talk to his baseball coach at college. Yes. And guess who was also captain of the baseball team? George H.W. Bush. Yes. So he's, he's playing baseball. He's a captain. He's a guy who had to work two jobs while at uh, Yale mm -hmm. because he went there as a guy with, had to pay for his money, had to pay for spending money, or else he have none. So he was able to work. Play full time sports, captain of the baseball in team, the division one. In the military. And then when he's done, he goes to Harvard. Then when he's done, instead of going to a law firm, he goes into the military. Yep. Then he goes into Congress. Yep. So, whatever you're going to say, uh, the he's not, guy's not going to be outworked. And his intellect is wicked, it's, it's wicked uh, strong. So, I think he's going to be extremely formidable. How he, I'm not saying he's going to be, um, I don't know how he's going to do in the debate stage. I just don't think he's ever going to be unprepared for anything. What um, did you learn? about national issues from DeSantis. Okay, now, he has said recently, no blank check to Ukraine. Right. Uh, Which we all fundamentally think. Uh, yeah, yes, and in fact, he's questioning where the whole Ukraine story is going to go, and I think that's an important subject for another segment, you and I, but I'm just saying, he says... Well, what said he said about was a little disturbing. Like taxes, spending, right. regulations... Uh, I know he has a state plan on immigration, illegal immigration, but I have not heard a national plan. In other words, I, I, I want to hear him on these national issues. I'm not pro, I'm not con. I just want to hear him. Well, I'll tell you, I personally was disappointed with his answer on Russia. Mm -hmm. He said, well, don't worry about Russia. They can't handle Ukraine. They're not going to go anywhere else. They're already in Moldova. They're already trying to infiltrate. They don't, they don't necessarily have to invade every country. Mm -hmm. They can infiltrate these countries. So Georgia, they already have a third of it. They can go finish it off. And then you have Moldova, the small country. Are you going to fight for Moldova? The average American says no, maybe we shouldn't. But they're already trying to foment a slow-moving coup there. And then if you tell all those Baltic stations, uh, those nations, that, okay, all of a sudden their elections are, they were been manipulated and infiltrated anyway, and there's different ways to do it. If you don't stop them here... Do you think he's a, he is dovish on it? Is that what you're getting at? I think he... I Too think, dovish? I think that 53% of, of the Republican Party say I support. I think that number is going to drop. Mm -hmm. And I think to a degree DeSantis sees this and says I'm not going to be where McConnell is. Mm -hmm. But I just think that he's such a student of history. He has to know what Russia's uh, goals are. It's always expanded. It's Switch always gears real quick, Brian. Um, 
Tax cuts. How is he on tax cuts? I'm interested. I am a supply sider, as I believe you know. I believe lower tax rates would rejuvenate the economy and conquer inflation. Do you have anything to say about that? We, we didn't get into his national policy, yeah. but if you look at what his track record is, he's not raising taxes on anyone. He raised corporate taxes in Florida very bad. Well, I'm just uh, here to tell you that. Right. They were 3.5%, went back to 45 then it went to five and a half percent corporate. I don't know why, and I don't know the full story. But right. That's what happened, that and I'm not happy with that. Was not aware of that. I will say this: He will not I'm talk national issues assistant. until you, after. You no, know I'm your research assistant. I'm going to get rid of mine. I was I'm going to start interviewing right away. But as soon as I leave, I'm going to get rid of. I have a huge. Does staff. it pay? I have right. a huge stack. <laughs> I can't get you up that early. You got to get up at two thirty. That may be true. Right. The only thing I would say is he says I'm going to focus on the state legislature. He goes, if you yeah. think I've done a lot already, he's got a super majority. Yeah. He's going to get a lot done in the state. And then I think around May he'll probably announce. All right. So um, you can catch Brian's new documentary, Who Is Ron DeSantis, available now on Fox Nation. And I just want to say, in addition to being a great friend, Brian Kilmeade is a terrific radio guy. All right. Terrific Thank radio. You. I love guy. doing radio. Ra Me too. Radio right. is fabulous. You're doing the sixth day on Saturday and Saturday night, eight o'clock, One Nation. Have a great show, Lionel. All right, buddy. Thanks a lot.